Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're, you, well, you read the title, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video or if it helped, subscribe please, and uh, yeah. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. So, so pretty much this is a tutorial on how to uh, play Manhunt with your friends, just like Dream. I already made two videos on this, but this video is a bit different. It's gonna go all the, like a full guide. The other ones was just the command block, and this one has a lot more information. And also, there's some questions like, does this work on Bedrock? And the answer is no, this only works on Java. And also, just try to use 1.16. I think it might work in earlier versions, but 1.16 is always the best version to use. Okay, so first step is uh, getting a Minecraft server. So if you already have a Minecraft server, go to the timestamp on the screen right now. One very easy and free option is minehut.com. Uh, this is a server where you can have a server within a server. So at first glance, it's like, it just looks like, I don't know, Hypixel or something where there's a bunch of people, but you can create your own server with like slash create probably i don't remember you can probably look up a tutorial and you could create a world and then join it and then your friends do slash join in the world name and then it's a private world for you uh you can also add plugins and stuff just like a regular server but just make sure to make it private because sometimes people join and ruin stuff the second option is a bit more complicated if you don't want complicated then just use minehut but this one's a bit less laggy you can download a, an actual Minecraft server. This is from the Minecraft website, so it's not sketchy. Uh, you can just download this, and then you run it, and then you use this thing called Hamachi to connect all your friends to the same network. You need to be connected to the same network for, for you to join the same server. There's going to be a tutorial in the description below, below for both how to download the server and for Hamachi. Okay, so the first step is getting command block. Do slash give your player name. So mine is Goldeka and then just type command block and then press tab. When you see it at the top, press tab, press enter, and you got a command block. Uh, so place this command block down and set it to repeat, set it to always active, unconditional. So the command you're gonna be putting in is slash execute at, and then you're gonna type the person you wanna track, so the speedrunner pretty much, or the person you want the compass to follow. So for me, I'll just do Goldeka because I'm the only one on the server. Run, set, world spawn tilde 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 so you want to put this exact command in but replace gold echo with the speedrunner uh press enter and it should turn purple and also in the chat right now there should be like a ton of stuff in the chat and it's it's really annoying so to get rid of that you do slash game rule um command block output and then false and it should get rid of all those annoying stuff in the chat uh, I would recommend hiding this command block, so when you walk around in the world, you don't just randomly come upon a command block. I would also recommend getting the coordinates for the command block so you don't lose them, and maybe you can break it later if you don't want the compass to track your friend anymore. Second thing to do, go in the same chunk as the one the command block is in. So as you can see, I pressed F3 and G, it shows the chunks, and I am in the same chunk as this command block. Type slash force load add tilde 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 press enter i already force loaded this chunks so that's why it says that in the chat but it should say uh chunk added to force load or something like that pretty much what this does is it, it loads this chunk no matter where you are in the world so even if you go really far away the command will still work or the command block will still work now to make the hunters not spawn on the speedrunner every time they die, because the speedrunner is the set world spawn, that's how the compass works. So place a bed at spawn and set your spawn point so that the hunters spawn at the actual spawn and not at the speedrunner. Also, the hunters have to get the compass themselves, so just go in the inventory, get a compass. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, when the hunters die, they will lose their compass. Just do slash give uh compass it's not really cheating because a compass is very necessary uh last thing is the nether is a bit weird when you're in the nether the compass won't track the player there's no way for it to work unless there is but i don't think there is for that you will need a data pack so i would just recommend paying for dreams patreon but that's like 20 dollars a month or something so this is the best free option Pretty much it won't work in the nether, and another problem is when the speedrunner goes into the nether, the compass will point to somewhere completely different, like nowhere near where this portal is. Now there's, I don't think there's a way to fix that, I've tried to make a video on it, but the solution wasn't very good. So the best option I have is whatever you're using, like Discord or Skype or whatever, just type it. Type the coordinates of the nether portal in the chat of Discord. So then your hunt, the hunters can see the coordinates and go towards the nether portal. That's the best option I can think of. 
So once he makes a portal, just get the coordinates, type it in chat, and yeah. So hope you enjoyed the video, that's everything. If you have a question, uh, leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. Uh, if this helped you, please subscribe and hit the like button, and yeah. Uh, see you next time.